Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Playdates and Travels. And if you are new to my channel, a big warm welcome. I hope that you guys stick around. I do a lot of Disney content here. And I'm actually changing it up a little bit. I have decided to film a little bit in my living room lately just because it just helps free up the time. As I mentioned in previous videos, my husband is now working from home in my Disney office. So he is taking my space that I normally use for my filming and because it just gets very strange and weird a little bit having someone listening to your conversation when you're talking at a camera, I just find it a little weird. I don't know. Um, I've just been trying to find places where I can go that I can film privately. My son's currently sleeping so this is a perfect time to get this filming done and today I'm going to be doing a fun tag. I have been doing a lot more tags since I've been working from home um, with the whole uh, virus stuff. Um, we're all working from home now but this is now week nine for me of this craziness and just having to be at home all the time and having to find new spaces um, to find creativity. Just doing tags has been a lot more easier I guess I should say just because I am home I've got nothing better to do so why not participate so you guys will be seeing more tags on my channel and this is a tag that was created by my friend Christy's Corner and she decided to do this ultimate Disney mug challenge and I thought when she first invited me to it that it actually would be a great excuse to share with you guys my entire Disney mug collection so when I was starting to get ready to film this video, I was very much prepared to say, hey guys, just keep in mind that I have a very small Disney mug collection. I don't know if that's 100% true anymore because I just gathered all my Disney mugs in one place for the first time ever, really. And I was like, oh, so this is why I don't have any Disney mug space in my mug cabinets. That's why I always say, please don't get me more mugs because I just have too many. And I think I'm missing one or two. I just gathered as much as I could remember and they were all like on my counter right now. So I'm gonna go through the questions one by one. It's a quick tag, only 10 questions. So stick with me if you guys haven't already. Please feel free to subscribe, join this community um, and let's get into it. Okay, so the very first question is show a mug with Mickey on it or a classic looking mug, hence the question. And I surprised myself. I thought I was gonna grab something different, but I grabbed this one which is kind of a very classic mug. This is probably one of the oldest mugs that we have in our possession. Um, I don't know the year this came out. It does say Walt Disney Productions Japan on the bottom. So maybe this was actually a Japanese styled mug at one point. I don't know the history of this mug because this was actually my husband's mug um, from his own ho household growing up. His parents actually give this, gifted this to him because they knew that this had been um, a favorite mug of his when he was smaller, I guess. Um, at any rate, they know that I'm a big Disney freak, so they were like, here, I think you should have it. And that's why I have it in my possession now. But this does have Mickey in it in a very cool, he looks kind of like Timothy Mouse, actually, like a conductor. And he has a baton in his hand. Um, he's wearing a nice Timothy Mouse type of hat and like uniform. So that's why I'm getting that kind of vibe from him. And then next to him is a rabbit. You've got Pluto, you've got Donald, a nice bird on the top. Jiminy Cricket, um, that actually does look like it's a little dormouse. Um, it's, it's Timothy Mouse himself actually with Dumbo, so that makes sense. So it definitely is like those kind of vibes. And then on the top you have the owl from, um, it's not the same movie, but there's an owl from another Disney movie that I'm blanking on right now, I don't know why, Pinocchio and Goofy. So let me just show you guys right now. This is the classic mug, awesome, awesome little classic mug, and I just think it's really cute because Mickey looks very much in a classic drawn style. You just don't see mugs like that anymore. And the rim of this is all in gold, so that is a sign that you cannot microwave this one. So this is definitely just for sipping some tea and coffee without actually putting it in the microwave. I definitely would not do that because then I would damage this. And then this is what the bottom looks like. It looks like there was a tag here at some point, but not anymore. So that's my classic mug. Definitely the most classic-esque looking one I think that I have right now. Okay, so for the second question, by the way, if you guys hear that weird noise, I'm currently doing laundry, so my laundry machine is going off. It's gonna be in the background, um, along with the fan. We have a lot of noises going on right now. I don't know why I just didn't think to turn it off when I was starting to film, we'll see. Um, but the next question, because it's fit for a, prin a princess or reminiscent of a princess, 
I have a couple of Princess S mugs, but there is no other mug, I think, in my collection that more perfectly fits that question than this one. And it's my Happily Ever After Disney mug from the Disney Parks. I think it was released about two years ago. Um, on the inside, it does say Happily Ever After on that side, and then Once Upon a Time over here. And you can see it's kind of like a storybook-esque castle setting. You've got the Cinderella Castle. You've got the Sultan's Palace right next to that. You have over here, um, and a tree, storybook tree. Um, over here you also have what looks like, correct me if I'm wrong, but that looks like Rapunzel's castle from her movie. Um, you have a little cottage here, maybe Snow White. Um, and then over here you have Sleeping Beauty castle. Definitely have uh, Rapunzel's tower right there. That is unmistakable. It's got a nice little like water scene. And then over here you've got none other than my favorite castle of all time, Prince Eric's castle and another tree setting. So it's a really cool mug. You can see the actual handle is kind of like in like a scroll effect as well. It just looks very, very, very charming all around. This is one of my favorite mugs to drink out of. I just think this is such a pretty mug. Um, and then the bottom just says Disney, copyright Disney made in Thailand. So not much to the bottom of this mug and much to the inside except for the um, the text on the inside, but it's such a cute mug and I love this one. So this is definitely one of my favorite mugs. And when I saw this was released, um, I think I saw this online originally, I had to pick it up in person. I was very, very excited when I did. This next one's kind of a tough question for me because I don't really feel like I collect extravagant mugs. Like extravagant to me just seems like over the top and really really like sensational like it can go one of, of one of two ways it could be like really really gaudy and just like in your face like look how fabulous this is or really really cutesy in a way which i don't own any cutesy mugs like that like if i had a winnie the pooh type of mug that i think would fit like this category perfectly but i don't have any character shaped mugs if that makes sense i always want them i just for whatever reason don't have any at this time um besides halloween type mugs and then the other way I think of it is if it's not like in your face and it's, it's like really, really elaborate and like detailed and dainty and I didn't really think I had anything that fit that bill 100% either. This is the one that comes closest to mind and it is a Little Mermaid. Um, this is a really cool print that I've never seen before. I think this might be actually like a box lunch type of licensed product or something. I'm not 100% sure because this was gifted to me by my friend Shasta. Um, she is Miss Mouseketeer on Instagram and she sent this to me and it's like a really nice big mug as well. And I just think Ariel is so gorgeous here with her flowing hair. I haven't really seen her in this style before, but with the flowers around her, she just looks so, so pretty. And I love the stunning green print on this as well. It's very spring-like. Um, and the design just wraps around. On the interior is actually like a mauve, like like a purple, which is my favorite color. And it came with a matching spoon. Um, also on the bottom of the spoon is a clamshell with some flowers. So this is just a really pretty mug. And because there's flowers on it, that to me rang extravagant, I guess. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm quite fitting this category 100% um, the right way. But this is what came to mind when I saw this category. So I'm going with it. Yeah. The next question is the sidekick mug question. And this is the first mug that immediately came to mind. I think besides this one, I only have one other sidekick and that's a Donald Duck type of mug. Um, but because this is one of my favorite sidekicks, I, if not, yeah, I think this is like my second favorite sidekick or top for my first. I have to go with this. I'm wearing the shirt. I'm wearing the new ears. I actually just got these from Etsy um, about an hour before I started filming. And I was like, let me put this on. Um, and this is my Mushu mug. Now, if you did not have a sidekick mug, by the way, for this category, you could have picked a color that reminded you of a certain sidekick as well as how you could have like cheated this. But I do have a sidekick mug, and it is Mushu, and you guys can see it's got like fun Chinese characters all around. There is Mushu's happy face right there. I love this mug, and the handle also looks like the top of like one of the the Chinese gardens or like a temple or whatnot. So that's a really cool design and I love this mug. I actually got this um, from the company D store, the cast member store on discount. I was so excited to get it for a cheaper price. Uh, this was a Disney um, mug as well. This just says Disney, but I'm pretty sure this was sold in the Disney parks if I'm not mistaken. Um, either way, this is just a really cool mug and it does have Cricky on the bottom as well. I don't know if I mentioned that. 
there is Cricky right at the bottom. So another sidekick and the original price, there you go, was Disney Parks item. The original price in the Disney Parks was $17. So I did not pay $17. I think I paid about like $5 to $8 on this mug, um, which was a much better price for me than the full price. So I was very happy to get this. Okay, so this is the large personality question, and I just double checked, and the biggest mug that I own, um, that non-Disney mug, is actually smaller than this one. And this one I got from Target in 2018, when they had that, um, it was a Mickey Mouse collection, I forget the official name, but they had it for a very limited time in Target stores around the country, and I just remember being so fan fascinated by that. I'm actually wearing the lipstick that came out from that same collection. I wish I had grabbed more of those lipsticks because this is such a stunning color on me. I had no idea at the time. It's a L'Oreal, L'Oreal like limited edition lipstick and I wish I had more because I love this color and I love this mug. Should have gotten more. But this is my biggest Disney mug. You can see the nice black and white stripe on the back, the red handle, and then Mickey Mouse's classic face in the front. This would have actually fit the classic um, question as well now thinking about it but look at this nice rounded handle it's just a really big mug and truth be told I have never actually used this mug in my life um, it says porcelain mug on the bottom microwave and dishwasher safe good to know I've actually never drank out of this because this is just gigantic I don't know what I would put in this but I definitely got this for decorational purposes and just think it's like a really fun mug and just look how sturdy it is it's really well made um, I just, for whatever reason, haven't drank out of it. There's something in it, though. i to take that out, but this is my Disney big, largest personality mug because it's definitely my largest Disney mug and my largest mug in my entire mug collection to date. Okay, so the next question is favorite non-Disney mug, and I have one that comes immediately to mind, but I'm gonna cheat because I don't think I've ever done a tag where I didn't cheat a little bit, and I wanna show you guys my runners-up. Um, this is actually one of my favorite mugs that I got for free because I did PR for the opening of this store. This actually says M&M's New York on here, M&M's World New York, and I actually opened that store in New York City back when I was living there, and it was one of my first earliest jobs I had as a publicist, and also one of my most favorite jobs because for that we got to hire people of all colors, of all ages, of all sizes. It was like people of all kinds of types was the whole like idea behind it. Um, so we had a little person, we had a pretty tall person, we had models, we had like big people, we had all kinds of shapes and sizes, it didn't matter. Anyone that was an M&M lover got to be involved um, and I cast them and got to see like, make sure that they were like not crazy first of course, but we basically spray painted their bodies in different colors. It was awesome, if I can find a photo, I'll insert it here. And we got to open up the world, M&M's World Store in New York that way. It was a big deal in Times Square. It's still there today, that store. And I got a couple of swag items. This is one of them. And I just happen to really like this mug. So it's got the M&M's all over. And my kids like M&M's, so why not? But that is definitely still one of my most favorite jobs I ever got to do because I got something cool out of it. So that's a nice, fun mug. Um, my other runner-up is actually this one, and the only reason I'm including it is because I got this from Target for like $5 from like the dollar spot. Maybe it was $3 actually. Yeah, $3 so that tag's still on here. And it just is a nice affirmation that reminds me to just stay positive. And this is what it says. It says, hello, gorgeous. Sometimes you just have to remind yourself that, yes, you might feel ugly in your own skin, but you're not. You're actually pretty on the outside, no matter what other people will say, make you feel you know how you are and there are definitely some times I'm just like I'm not that attractive I'm not that pretty and seeing the message on this mug definitely builds me up and I'm like no this is saying hello you are gorgeous remember that so that's why I'm show you guys this mug and now I'll show you my top favorite of course and that is this one and it is a Goonies mug um, we actually have this on display all the time. We keep pens in it in our front foyer, so it's gotten a lot of use. I think there's actually like chocolate and stuff on it because my kids probably touch this sometimes. But it's a Goonies mug. It says, never say die. Goonies never say die. This is one of my favorite movies ever. Um, we actually went to the Goonies Museum um, and the Goonies house and all like the Goonies like sites when we went to Astoria, Oregon. We did like a big West Coast road trip when I first moved out here and um, we got to see some of the fun places from the movie 
and I was like totally geeking out because I love the whole Go Goonies universe. I'll insert a photo, uh, a picture of me on the screen of my husband and I in front of the Goonies house from the film, and we were like totally like just having a ball. Um, so that was cool we got that shot. But yeah, this Goonies Never Stay Die mug is forever going to be my favorite non-Disney mug because it means a lot to me. I am a Goonie in real life, um, and I just love this film. I have the DVD, like special edition and everything. I just love it. It's my favorite. <laughs> I really like 80s films, by the way, guys. If you didn't know that already about me, I work, I'm obsessed with 80s films for some reason. Location, location, location. So the one mug that I immediately thought that came to mind for this one is the one mug that I made sure that I got when I was in Tokyo Disneyland. I have been to almost all of the Disney parks around the world. I, at this point, need to go to Shanghai Disney. That is the only one that I haven't actually been to physically. And I haven't been inside of Hong Kong. I actually did go to Hong Kong Disney when I graduated from college um, with my family. Or actually, it was after I graduated from college. Yeah, it was, it was the year before, okay. It was the year before I got married. My parents took us to China because they figured it would be our, like, our last hurrah, our last family trip before I became married and then I would never travel with them again. I don't know what their thought process was, but a lot of people, they're like, you're married, you're off, you're, you're no longer our problem. Um, so my parents took us to the Philippines and to Hong Kong, um, which I was so thankful to be able to go to. And so that's when I went to Hong Kong, like outside the gates, but no one wanted to go inside the park and so it didn't happen for me. Fast forward a couple years later, I went to Tokyo Disney with my husband and my daughter, who at the time was was two years old, and so she was very small. And I made sure that the one memorabilia item that I did bring home with me was this gorgeous mug. Both myself and my best friend, who was also with us on that trip, picked up the same exact mug. So we are mug twins on this one. And it is a Tokyo Disney Sea mug with Ariel. And I love Tokyo's styling because look how beautiful her face is. She just looks so pretty here in like a drawn sketch pattern. I've shown this to my channel before, but I love this mug. And it's got like a nice clamshell built into it, the nice starfish right there. Then you have Ariel again, this nice sketch pattern, just like looking like she's like part of your world. And then in the bottom it says 15, the year of wishes, Tokyo Disney Sea 15th anniversary, because this was an anniversary celebration that they were doing like for the entire year and change. They're celebrating 15 years of Tokyo Disney Sea, and I was there that year. So that was really cool to be able to go to that and have this mug that commemorates both that special time in the park's history, as well as something that reminds me of the park. And then the inside has teal, and then the words, the year of wishes on the interior of this mug. So it is a fun mug that is forever going to be reminiscent of my travels to Tokyo Disney Sea. There you go on the bottom of the mug as well. And it just definitely reminds me of location, 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 a park that I got while traveling. And I love this mug. It's one of my favorite mugs to drink out of. One of the ones I used probably third most of all my mugs, second most. Okay, so this one is harder because I have a couple of Starbucks You Are Here or Been There mugs that I absolutely love. I'm obsessed with Starbucks mugs and I will show you that probably later in this tag. But the one that came to mind the most because it represents a place that I've been to or an event that I've been to is a mug that I have in my hands. This is actually another recent mug that I recently acquired. But because it says the 2018 Epcot International Food and Wine Festival, my favorite festival of all time in Disney parks, I had to bring this mug out. And again, it has a classic Mickey design, a Chef Mickey's in a little chef hat. This part right here actually pops out of the mug. And then all over it has like the different like sayings, a savory, a dash of pepper, spicy, and then it has the countries from all the World Showcase pavilions. Um, and it actually says 2018 World Food and Wine Festival as well. I mean, this is just a really nice understated mug, kind of, but because it, um, you know, because it has that saying in the front representing the Food and Wine Festival. That's why I got that for the mug that reminds me of something that I got in the park because it's a park festival that you can only do when you're inside Walt Disney World during the Food and Wine Festival. Perfect for that question of park hopping. This is a mug that I was hoping to get my hands on for a very long time and was very excited when I did. It is an Alice in Wonderland Mad Teacup Party themed mug and I just love the pretty purple color on this. Of course, it's got like the little designs all around that remind you of the ride, the little stars there, and I just think this is a fun 
Mad Tea Party-esque mug. This is definitely like most like character-esque type of mug I own because it's in the shape of the ride, um, the saucer and the thing together and you go. But this is definitely one of my favorite mugs to drink out of. And it was buried in the back of my cabinet. So I actually haven't drank out of this probably in six months. So I feel like I was gypped because I have lost some precious time with this mug, but it's one of my favorite ones for sure. Okay, and the very last question is to show um, nine different mugs that I haven't already shown that are favorites in my collection. And if you don't have nine additional mugs in your collection, then you could have just done whatever you had and rank them in order. I'm not gonna rank them, I'm just gonna show you the nine that I have. I didn't think I was gonna have enough for this question, but apparently I was wrong. So here are my top five, my top nine favorite mugs that I haven't already shown you. Coming to you quick. First one, this Halloween S mug. This is a purple mug, purple potion that came out last year during Halloween season, and it's just a cool mug. It's like a little plastic interior. Happen to love this mug. It's like a poison apple stein. Have to include this in my top favorites. Number two is this Lady and the Tramp mug. It's one of the only Lady and Tramp mugs I own. You've got Lady and Tramp in this nice tall mug. This was sold from Walgreens. You can see it has the logo on the back. It's a nice, beautiful pink color. This came out around Valentine's Day a couple years ago. It was $10. And I just think this is a really fun and stunning mug with their faces popped out. New favorite mug. <laughs> I just picked this one up like yesterday from Daiso. They were selling a couple of new more mugs and I like that it has Mickey Mouse holding an ice cream cone, my favorite snack in the whole wide world. I love the colors on this. It was, was the exact last one that the store had. And it says just a little lick with Mickey Mouse sitting down enjoying an ice cream. So since I'm such an ice cream lover, I love this color palette. I happen to love this mug. This is also from the Valentine's Day collection that came out from Walgreens a couple years back. You've got Eric and Ariel. Of course, I had to show you guys this one. You guys can see that I use these nice tall mugs as like my pencil holders in my room, in my office. It does say the Little Mermaid in the back. I've got these gorgeous colors. And then the, um, the I didn't show this on the other mug, they had it this too. But all of them have a little heart shape for the handle. So that's actually a nice little touch for these uh, Valentine's Day mugs that came out from Walgreens. I still remember the first time I saw this mug was actually on the Miss Alfie Cakes channel. She had gotten this for free in a Disney gift box and then I sought it out in the parks because I think this is so cute and adorable. It's like a patriotic Mickey mug and this is actually one of my favorite mugs to drink out of on a regular basis. It's got red on the front. Um, and then you've got like the little like fun little star fireworks effects with the Starbucks logo. So this is one of those Starbucks You Are Here mugs and I happen to love this beautiful I don't know if you are here, but it's a Starbucks mug, and I happen to love this little heart-shaped pattern with Mickey Mouse, Pin and Mickey on the front. I've shown this before, but this is my Dumbo mug. It does say, don't just fly, soar on the back, and then you've got Dumbo on the front. This more recently would just made it to way to the outlet, and it was selling for like nothing, and I was like, but I bought it at full price for $14. But I still love this mug, and I love the colors on here, and the fact that it has Dumbo on it, such a cute character, and I just happen to love this mug. It's a different kind of shape as well, because you see it has like a square type of handle. I'm wearing the Mulan shirt, I have to show my Mulan mug. I happen to love this one in Mulan with the cherry blossoms and you can see the gold and the pink all over. This is definitely a fun mug that came out from the Disney store. It was 20, um, it's ripped off, but the, can the Canadian price was $22. So whatever the equivalent is in US money, um, it's a very nice mug. And um, this one actually is, Microwave bowl, so you can put this in the microwave, um, despite the gold, but I tend not to. I think that's saying it. you can do it. Yeah, just whenever I see gold of any kind, I'm always just like, let me just stay away from that. But it's a really gorgeous mug, and it's got Mulan all over it, and love this one, and love the shape as well. The second to last one I'm gonna show you is actually another mug that was gifted to me by my friend Kate over in Australia, and she thought of me and sent this to me all the way from Australia, by the way. I think that was awesome of her, um, but you can see it has Ariel on the front, it's Ariel on the back, a nice floral design, a really cool, nice handle as well. Just looks very delicate, and actually this could have passed the, the extravagant, dainty category, I guess, to a, a, to a degree but it's just a very nice mug and just the fact that it has aerial space all over it. I think it's, I'm always really touched that people think of me sometimes when they know that they see my character. So I love this mug and thank you again, Kate, for sending this to me. My very last one is because I'm gonna cheat again. I know it's to the nine, I'm only supposed to show, show nine, but I'm gonna show you 10 since this is question number 10. And the first one, I'm gonna show you a tumbler, which I haven't shown you any of my official parks tumblers. This one says Epcot. I love the colors on here. If you take a closer look, there are park icons on the inside of Mickey's face, like pigments right there. I love that so much. And I just think the colors on this are really pretty. 
And then of course in the back you've got Starbucks and the Starbucks logo. So you have to bring some love to the Disney tumblers as well, I think. And then my very last mug I wanna show you is another Starbucks mug. And this is my Disneyland um, Been There series. So this is actually more of a more recent series that just came out, not that you are there. I do have that one as well. But this is the Been There and I just think the fun colors on here are really cool. And all the icons, like you've got this like from Trader Sam's. If you just take a nice close look, you have a lot of iconic moments from the parks, different attractions, different rides. The castle looks absolutely gorgeous on this mug. You've got fireworks, you've got the, um, the storybook canal ride. Just like really like subtle things on here as well. So it's really fun it's ending with Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. So I just think this is such a fun mug. It says been there um, and the inside is a nice hot little like bright pink. So those are my top 10 mugs that I hadn't shown you yet for the last question. I am gonna do a nice overview of all the rest of my Disney mugs that I haven't already shown you yet because I do have more in my collection, more than I thought I was gonna have for this this video. It's really funny, I was like, I don't know if I have enough mugs. Um, again, apparently I do. So this is why I have a Disney mug problem. And again, I say if you have me in a swap, please don't send me a mug unless it's like a Disney, um, Starbucks mugs, that's like my only exception. I love these things. I only showed you two. So thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what your favorite mug was. Um, I'm gonna show you my non-mugs as well. I'm gonna just show you my like tumblers and my like tall uh, drink glasses as well, because why not? This will help my Disney mug collection. And if you haven't already done this yourself, please feel free. I will tag someone since this is a tag, and I will tag um, the Disney housewife to do this, although she might be already doing it. Um, I don't know who's doing it already, but I'm gonna tag the Disney housewife. She hasn't already done it. I'm gonna tag, uh, Cinderella Loves Disney, I'm going to tag Magic Wishing Star, Christine, um, I'm also going to tag, who else can I tag? I uh, will tag um, Disney102004, um, Nisha. Okay, so those are my tags. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I will talk to you guys soon in the very next one. Oh, I'm a moron. This actually would have been perfect for the extravagant question. This is a Grand Floridian mug. It's like a three-tiered Alice in Wonderland type design. And since this is like the most expensive hotel in Florida, minus the Animal Kingdom Lodge, I mean, look at this. It's $23 for this mug. I should have went with this one. I'm a moron. So I revised my answer. This one, too. But uh, yeah, another fun mug that I have. This is my Me in the 90s mug from the Disney Store with the Toy Story gang on the back. This is my Hollywood Studios been there mug. The whole Hollywood Studios icons. I like the colors on this, which is why I grabbed it. Fun. Um, I already showed you this one. This is my Aladdin mug. You've got like a nice subtle Princess Jasmine thing going on. Apparently I paid $9 for that. This is a Christmas mug that you could put the milk and cookies. Oh, look, there's a candy on the inside. And that's the cookie pocket, yeah. This is an older mug that we have, classic Mickey. This has my husband's name on the back, it says Matthew, another one from his personal collection from when he was younger. Pretty sure this is one of the ones that you get um, from the park itself, so that's kind of cool that my, my in-laws did that because it seems so not like them. Um, this is one that was sent to me from Gifts from Mickey, it says Walt Disney World. I love this nice uh, Arriba's Brothers type of mug, awesome. This is one that I was sent in another box, um, Mickey to Your Door. You can see it's a Mexico Epcot mug. And I happen to love this as well. It's really, really cute. I guess it's more of a glass, but love it anyway. This is one of those like cheap plastic mugs. So it's got Ariel on it and the glitter in the side and the fake water. Love the little bubble effect. There's the water canisters in the back. This is a fun um, free tumbler that you got from doing the Food and Wine Festival. Um, scavenger hunt so I went ahead and got this as well they actually ran out of these when I went to the park so I got it from eBay actually a bit on that with my Mickey straw this is a castle mug with the Cinderella castle etched into the cup all over the inside kind of looks like the castle so it's a fun mug I usually use that for like holding pencils and stuff as well this is another um, Starbucks tumbler it's Disney Hollywood Studios a nice close-up look right there pretty awesome with the Starbucks icon. Um, this is a princess uh, watery little tumbler. Cute. This is the poison apple stein. Ha 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 ha. From Halloween. Love that one. My mom likes to give that to me. I think she thinks I'm a villain. Um, this is my haunted mansion one in a similar vein. Also a Halloween mug. Cute. Um, and then this is the third one that I got from the Valentine's Day mugs of that year. 
Beauty and the Beast with the Enchanted Rose and the name of the movie right there. So pretty cool. This is the only one I have left from the <laughs> the Wisdom Collection um, or Mickey. So this is the Mickey Memories. Yeah, this is the Mickey Mouse Memories uh, thing that came out in 2017. It says Peace. I happen to like this mug. That was cute. Why not? Psychedelic. Then I have this Cinderella Fairy Godmother one that she pops out. It says Even Miracles Take a Little Time with her signature on the inside. That's a cute little mug from the parks. Also has her carriage on the bottom. And finally, I don't think I showed this one to you before, but this is my Alice in Wonderland theme mug. You've got the hatter there with a mug and it says we're all mad here. So it's another cute Disney Parks mug, nice and purple. I happen to like the colors on that, which is why I went and grabbed that. So that's everything. Those are all my mugs. Um, you guys can see. And then to top it all off over here, I have like four Princess Jasmine type of like shot glasses. These are Moroccan um, mosaic tile glasses that are fun for drinking tea and whatnot out of it. And these are from Box Lunge. So I went and bought these a while back and I think they're all really stunning. And that is my Disney drinkware, the rest of it. Ta-da, ta-da! And my last You Are Here mug, this too was hiding. It's an older Disneyland one that I happen to love the colors in this as well. And this was the design for a long time. They have since revised these designs, I believe. Um, well, since we're doing the Been Here series now, but Been There series. But I love this and the colors and think it's so, so pretty. Take care and stay safe. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!